Hey everyone, Mr. MC here. This is a guide for around 10 other manufacturer series. Let's get this started. Bring yourself to the left and use this light before the 100 meter mark as your breaking point. Break as much as you can in a straight line. Slowly ease off the brakes as you turn in. Be patient with your throttle input so you don't end up spinning out. Then ease off on the throttle as you make this right turn. And once your car is starting to point away from this orange barrier, you can slowly start to accelerate once again. Slowly bring yourself to the left side of the track and brake right before you reach the bridge just up ahead. Try to stick to the inside of the turn before you start to accelerate. You'll be sticking to the inside of the turn for a while, bring yourself to the right and brake well before the wall on the left ends. This is a bit more specific to the Porsche when you're making your turn, you can go down to first gear to help the car rotate a bit more. In result, you'll be able to get on the throttle a little bit sooner. Brake right before the curb on the right starts. Take your time easing off on the brakes and getting on the throttle. Then bring yourself to the left and ease off on the throttle when the curb on the left ends. Just be nice and patient with your throttle input so you don't end up accelerating too early and potentially make contact with the gravel. Right before you reach the digital flag, that is on the right or just before the tire wall on the right ends, brake hard, then slowly start to ease up on the brakes as you turn in. Be very patient with your throttle input. Then brake right before you start to make this right turn, stick to the inside of the turn, carefully accelerate, brake nice and early for this turn right here, bring yourself to the right, and brake right before you reach the Gran Turismo Sport sign that is above you. You want to brake hard for a moment, then ease off on the brakes, get the sausage curves to go under the middle of the car, same thing for this one, then straighten out the car before you start to fully accelerate. Then you can take the final turn at full throttle and that is it for the lap guide. Let's go ahead and talk about the strategies. For the qualifying session, you have 6 minutes to try to get a good qualifying time. Fuel burning is going to play a key role in trying to get a good qualifying time. So the moment you're out of the pit stop, you want to start fuel burning. If you don't know how to do that, all you have to, all you have to do is press all the way down on the throttle and use some braking. You want to try to do this on first gear if possible, but if you can't, you can do it on second gear as well. So you're going to fuel burn your first outlap then go on over to get a new set of racing soft tires. Don't forget that the tire wear is really high here so you want to make sure that you get a new set of racing soft tires. That way you can start your qualifying lap which will be after this out lap. You want to start your qualifying lap on the freshest tires possible. So we're going to do a bit more fuel burning throughout the second out lap and we'll have more than enough time to start the lap without having to rush. Just make sure that you go through the final chicane properly so that way you get a good exit speed and you'll be able to start your qualifying lap on, well, a good start. So we're just going to skip on over towards the end and you do have to go through the chicane once again so you want to make sure that you also get it right, this, especially this time around as this chicane can make or break your time. And once again, with all the fuel burning, your car will be lighter, so it will help the car accelerate even more, which will help you get a better qualifying time. Just like in the 10th round of the nation's race, this race also has a lot of strategies that can be used. And it can range from doing a two stop to a three stop, and with all the variants that can be used within those two and three stops depending on where you start or how you want to go about this race. So I have the first chart and this one assumes that you are starting in the front and no matter what you're going to want to go with either strategies two or three and the same thing will be true for those who start in the middle or the back which I'll have that chart up right now. So the thing is that with the three stop, you can take advantage of the racing soft tire and you can use it for either two or three stints. 
So the thing is that the tire wear rate is pretty high. So the racing soft tires only last five laps and the racing medium tires don't last much longer at six laps. But before I talk about the tires a bit more, I do want to mention that you do want to fuel safe for this race. So if you are behind someone and you do not want to overtake them, just stay behind them to get the slipstream, short shift along the way, around 75% usually does it for me, and adjust the fuel mapping as you go along the way. That way, when it's time to refuel, you don't have to spend a million years just trying to get the car to whatever amount of fuel that you need to finish the race. But going back to the tires, so the tire wear rate is pretty high, and because of that and the somewhat short pit stop times, it is possible for a three stop to be viable. And it's actually going to be a bit more viable than a two stop. So for example, if we do strategy three, you get to spend a lot of time on the racing soft tires. So even though they're going to not last that long, you're still going to get some really good lap times out of them. And when your car is lighter because it has less fuel, you'll be able to get even faster times, most notably on your second lap. And with the second and third strategies, the main difference is that the second strategy does use the racing medium tires. But because you are doing six laps on those racing medium tires, and you already have five laps done with the racing soft tires, which will be done twice, that only leaves you one lap to use the racing hard tires. So you can just switch on over to them at some point in the race, use them for literally one lap, and go back into the pit stop and change to another set of racing soft tires. And for those doing the three stop, I will suggest leaving the second racing soft tire stint towards the very end. So you'll be using them as your final stint. That way the car will be lighter because even though after you refuel, the car is obviously not going to be at a full tank of fuel. So the car is going to be lighter and your car is going to be able to accelerate even faster which will help you get better lap times. And let's say if people in your lobby or in your race are doing the two sub strategy and they're on their racing hard tires for the last stint, you're going to have a huge advantage over them, which will let you catch up to them even faster and potentially be able to overtake them a little bit easier. So if you were to ask me which strategy would be good, I would say to go for a three stop. Whether you want to use the racing medium tires, that way you can use one lap of racing hard tires or just do all racing soft tire stints and then do two laps of racing hard tires. That's going to be up to you to decide. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this guide. Hopefully this guide helps you out a little bit in deciding in what strategy you want to go with. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. So this is Mr. MCA wishing you a good race and I'll see you in the next video.